All right, so today we're going to be doing a reaction and breakdown of the brand new Super Mario Sunshine 120 Shines task. This task will get every single shine in the game, including all of the blue coins, and I've heard it is an absolutely fantastic one. If you don't know what a tool assistant speedrun is, by the way, we're going to get into it throughout this video, but just basically imagine that this is a theoretical perfect speedrun. So, without further ado, let's get right into it and uh, see what kind of crazy strategies they came up with. And go! Chat, am I allowed to skip the intro or do we watch the intro? Like, can I skip this? You have to watch it. What? Here we go! Time for the first shine! Ah, uh, finally, once we're done with this cutscene. Yeah, I mean, I obviously he's kind of just messing around, memeing around here, just flexing a little bit, but this is basically an auto scroller. Like, you just have to wait for his cycle, so there's not. Wait! Holy sh wait, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna wait. That is so cool. He wrote tass on the ground. Never mind, it wasn't just random movement. That's such a flex. <laughs> Shine get. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> pretty basic movement so far. Wait, we already got a blue coin? Wait. Holy sh <laughs> All right, we already got two blue coins. Da -da 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 -da. Mario? <laughs> yeah, that's how all of us, I'm sure, remembers uh, doing this. Yeah, just literally instantly get blue. Uh, uh, I, I can barely follow up. Okay. Just instantly with one spray getting uh, Shadow Mario. And then just clipping out of bounds casually by the stand. I actually know how that works. So if you go uh, towards these food stands. If you go against these pillars with a slight angle with speed. You can actually clip out of bounds. How out of bounds work is quite simple in this game. So when you clip out of bounds. There's basically an invisible floor underneath the map. Now, if you stand on this ground for one second, you will automatically basically just die. So if you stand out of bounds for one second, there is a safety check in the game to make sure you can't just go out of bounds. So he will very carefully make sure to do jumps here and not slide on the ground for more than one second at any point in time to guarantee not voiding out. And then he will jump back in a bound into the sewers to quicker get the blue coins. <laughs> okay, so I do know for a normal human way, you can spray that M during the Shadow Mario cutscene. I guess you could also, with insane movement, also somehow enter the portal during the cutscene to save, like, a few frames of movement. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. You know, I've been working with Manscaped for a long time, and I'm sure you've all heard about the products at this point. The Lawnmower 4.0, the Perfect Package, etc. However, did you know that this month is a little bit special to me? Because, you know, I used to work in the medical field, and this month, they have partnered up with the Testicular Cancer Foundation, which not only helps bring awareness to something that I think is absolutely amazing, but also they're pledging to donate a lot of money to this charity, $25,000 right now to be exact. And best of all, you remember the Lawnmower Fopano, which is my favorite? They have a limited edition one right now, but there's a limited supply of them where you get this kind of nice purple one and it looks absolutely amazing and it does all the great things that the Lawnmower 4.0 does. So if any of that sounds interesting, then you go to manscaped.com slash link 7 or use promo code link 7 to get 20% off your first order plus free shipping. So what are you waiting for? Do it. Right here. Oh, we're actually going to skip the first shine. I wonder when we're going to get at them because it is a pass. That is so fast. All right. Even in the vanilla game, this might be one of the only skips that you as a casual might have actually done. You can skip the first shine on that little bridge by either just jumping around it or by using one of those little blue enemies, which basically works as like a trampoline to get around it. I don't know why they were doing it in 120 shine, but I guess we'll see. This is basically a fancy auto-scroller. That's why he's just kind of jumping around here. You can instantly have... If you've ever played this boss, you will know that you usually have to wait a while before he decides to open his mouth. 
if you are 90 degrees to the left of BD, for some reason, he just immediately does a 90 degree turn and opens his mouth instead of doing his normal kind of attack pattern. I don't quite know why that happens. Are we climbing this for the flexing purposes? Holy. But the star is about to spawn. Oh, okay. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, you can kind of skip that fight a little bit by doing that. They tried to make it as quickly as possible into Corona Mountain just so that cutscenes are quicker. That makes sense. All right, we are coming up on our first secret shine. And I want to make it clear for anyone who's watching this on Twitch, which, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also, if you want to watch these live, you can also check out my Twitch channel. But either way, Twitch chat, I expect every one of you to post some jam emotes, specifically cat jam, whenever we're in a secret stage. Because it's a good beat. Dude, this movement. <laughs> like, literally two seconds. Well, maybe the next one we can jam out for it longer. Yeah, this is how I remember doing red coins for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is just, just like my movement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for anyone who says that, like... Super Mario 64 is the only Mario game that has really good movement. I think you just have not watched top-level Mario Sunshine speedrunners. Yeah, this is being played on the Japanese version. The Japanese version is faster for 120 shines because, funnily enough, Delfino Plaza actually has less fruit and objects than the North American and European version has, which means that the game can load Delfino Plaza, I think it's two or four frames faster. And since you have to enter Delfino Plaza more than 120 times in a 120s chance run, you save like a lot of time throughout the whole run. So it just loads a few frames faster, which is why you would play on the Japanese version. Also, I can't even speak explaining the Japanese version. Can we just acknowledge that during me just saying this, he has literally collected like 15 blue coins while fighting Piranha? Bro. How are we getting so many blue coins? And he's like waiting for like uh, PD Piranha to fly around too. Like we're not even losing time. Oh, more blue coins? Yeah, sure. Why not? He even has time to flex. Shine, get. Isn't PD Piranha movement random? Yes, there are like over 200 different combinations of movements you can do, but obviously they manipulate it to be the preferable one in terms of what he's going for right there, which is only going to the left uh, while collecting the blue coins. All right, I gotta come clean. Chat, this is my ult account. Tass is my ult. Wait, we're getting fruit? Wait, what are we doing while fighting this guy? What? What? Why are we here with the fruit? What are we doing? Uh. Okay, we're gonna use a fruit to clip out a bounce to enter that tower to grab the blue coin without Yoshi and then still end up in front of the lighthouse with the stage spawns. Uh, right now, we're actually gonna see another example of using a fruit to um, push Mario. We're gonna do something known as Gelato Beach Skip, which allows you to get the 8th shine immediately. Uh, we're gonna use that coconut right there, clip out of bounds, uh, through the roof. Also, while doing it, I guess, pick up that blue coin in the back, and then clip into this pipe. Uh, normally, because the objective here is to basically try and beat the game as fast as possible, because the cutscenes are shorter in that case, so it's faster to collect everything. He's trying to beat the game as fast as possible. And to beat Sunshine, it's not like a star requirement like 64. Instead, it's simply just beat Shadow Mar in every stage. That would usually take 50 shines, but with glitches, you can get that down. So, by getting the 8th shine early, he can select the 7th shine in Gelato Beach. And that obviously skips the first 6 shines. You're gonna get a casual little blue coin there as well while waiting. I find it to be so impressive how many blue coins they get during all of these minor cutscenes, you know what I mean? Like, there's so much downtime you don't realize there exists in Sunshine. Like, 
oh, I have to wait six seconds for this, you know, star to drop down into the ground. But he just, take, like, does not waste any time. In Super Mario Sunshine, there's only, I think if I remember correctly, 96, I think it is, shines? From levels, I could be wrong about that. It's something around there. And the last shines are actually purchased by getting blue coins. Basically, 10 blue coins equals one shine. How did he get so much? What? What? But he's not even pulling the tail. What? Uh, what? Okay, so normally you have to pull the tail really far back and then let go because the further back you pull, the faster speed he has. He grabs it for like a split second. It's just like... Like, he's not even like slowly pulling it backwards. How did he do that? Oh, I love Pientissimo. This is one of my favorite characters. My guess would be that he's going to collect like a bazillion blue coins during the race because Pientissimo is slow. All right, let's hear it. One blue coin. Two blue coins. And three. And he's still going to beat him. Oh, sorry. Four blue coins. My bad. Shine, get. All right. This is a strat that even I can do. You can get hit by an, uh, an enemy, or the wind in that case, to get vulnerability frames to jump over this lava. What? Where did that blue coin come from? What? Did he kill- he killed a bird? What? Okay. Alright, I definitely noticed that. So this- this guy right here, uh, he can have different, like, angles. And it's a, basically an auto-scroller, but you can actually sort of uh, speed it up. Because by holding the chain for some reason and go, holding forward, you actually push him. I know it sounds really weird, but for some reason, you technically push him, which makes him go slightly further forward. Shine, get! Alright, we're coming up on my uh, on one of my favorite stages, Chad. We're coming up on- I'm a Chuckster! This skip, though, that's coming up in this next star, I do actually know how to do. So this is something known as Yoshi skip. So normally, you have to get Yoshi, which, by the way, we also we have not unlocked. I should also say, we can't even use Yoshi. But normally, there's supposed to be a Yoshi egg on screen right here. Then you would bring him down to the bottom here. You would spray this little, like, M or whatever you want to call it, this little gooey thingy. And it will basically unlock the entrance. But you can technically clip inside of this tree and then get pushed into the loading zone. Normally not that fast, but you know what? Humans do do it. Just a little bit slower. He didn't even use the Chuckster? We're gonna skip this platform. Yeah, this is definitely how fast I do it. Yep. For sure, buddy. All right, I can't wait for a really difficult Shadow Mario. I know that this guy, this task guy, always struggles with Shadow Mario. It's definitely not going to be an insta catch. How? Just, just how, man? How? It literally looks like a one-hit kill. Like, how? I didn't even know that blue coin existed. Here, we're actually coming up on a cutscene skip, I'm guessing, because I'm guessing we're going to in a park. So this is a cutscene skip I do know of. So right here, you clip out of bounds, and then you basically die on the same frame you enter the cutscene. So remember earlier how I mentioned that if you stood out of bounds on the ground for one second, the game will automatically kill Mario? Well, we actually use that to our advantage right there. So he will purposely clip out of bounds, grab the blue coin while... He fell out of bounds too, of course. And then he will enter the cutscene trigger to see, like, Shadow Mario, no spoilers here, Shadow Mario going over to Pena Park. And he enters that cutscene trigger on the same frame that he has been standing on the ground out of bounds for one second. Because it will cause him to die on the same frame, meaning the cutscene got activated, but we didn't have to watch it. Uh, right here, we're doing another cutscene skip. He's going to do exit area at the same time as he entered the cutscene trigger, which will skip the cutscene of seeing, I guess, Mecha Bowser, or whatever you want to call him, kind of coming up from the ground. All right, how many laps do you think Tass is going to take to get <laughs> Mecha Bowser down, Chad? We need three hits. Or is it four hits? Two hits. 
It didn't even take half of the lap. It was like a third of a lap. Shine, get. Uh, right here, we can actually skip fighting him. You can jump into the loading zone without taking the enemy down with a precise jump. Uh, I don't know how that did not fall. All right. I don't know how that did not fall down, but it is something. Okay, I was about to say, there's no... He's just flexing at this point. He's... That's so clever. He is purposely doing a dive, and then he is so close to the edge that he actually probably takes the analog stick to the left. So he falls down to interrupt the dive early so he can perform another dive quicker. Because normally you have to do a full dive out animation when you press A, right? To get out of like a dive. So he's purposely going off and back onto the platform to perform like ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Just super quick dives. That's super clever. We're going back to the second shine stage. Why? Oh, are we doing red coins? I guess that makes sense. Probably in terms of menuing, I'm guessing, is why it's faster. Because it is the second one, so you have to scroll through a lot of shines to get over here. Dude. I feel like... Fontano in the chat perfectly summarized it. This man has no fear. I feel scared watching him do that shine because he's just jumping over a block that is about to disappear. Like, I feel anxious just watching him play. Okay, just clip inside of the ship to quicker get to the top to get that blue coin. Uh, all right. Wow. All right. I'm just gonna let that slide. I'm. I'm not even gonna try and explain any of it. I'm just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna let it go. Because it's 120 shines, I'm not sure if we're going to do Penna Park 5 skip. Because there's a skip you can do here. I'm not sure if they would do it, though. Because they have to get all the shines. So I'm guessing it wouldn't be faster. Yeah, no, they won't. Okay. Because, yeah, technically you can clip out a bouncer and go into uh, Yoshigo around the 6th shine without entering this level. Well, that is... That is one hell of a way to climb that tower. Wow. Not only did he jump on the ships here, this man, somehow without getting hit, landed on these spinning platforms for a jump. Dude, who is this task guy? Uh, if you don't know what a tool assisted speedrun is, it's basically a creation of a perfect speedrun. So it is done by humans, but they are allowed to use tools to create what is known as a perfect speedrun. So they're allowed save states, frame by frame, slow down, etc. So they can retry the same thing over and over and over again. So let's say there's a trick that requires you to, for example, press the A button, you know, like let's say 30 times per second. A human could not do 30 times per second most likely, but a tool assisted speedrun could obviously do because you can frame by frame and put A, 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 A. That's an example of a tool assisted speedrun technique. And also to make sure you get perfect luck or RNG, they can, you know, save state it and retry it over and over again thousands of times before they get the perfect outcome that they want. This is what Linkus would be if he has practiced more? Oh yeah, for sure. Also, I gotta mention something in case people don't know. Not- Wow, okay. Uh, these blue coins that he has get, those are on a timer. Like, when you shoot one of these, that's on a timer. And he has so, so much time, it's not even flashing. Really. Dude, he's getting so much stuff. He landed on the edge of the spike because it's a slope so he could get more speed from the jump. Bro. 
Anyone who has played this game casually knows how much this stage sucks. The fact that he did that in less than 15 seconds is almost disrespectful. All right, Chad, I can't wait for a really difficult Shadow Mario fight again. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, two quick blue coins right there, obviously. A little cool explore right there. That, uh, the entrance, uh, checkpoint right there actually extends through that floor. So if you jump underneath, you get put back, picked back up. So that's, that's just a little bit of a flex right there. Even you, yes, you can try the next time you play Sunshine. Dude, the way he lands on certain slopes to get speed is crazy. What is he doing? Oh, he's spinning the boat. Does he get a blue coin from that or something? Or why are we doing this? Oh, yeah. Okay, can I say something really stupid? This this is making me realize how unoptimal humans are. We suck, dude. We I gotta, I should pick up this game and just do these strats. Like, if I just did some of these strats, I would be so fast. Yeah, because you have to technically wait a few seconds. He gets these blue coins while waiting. That's so cool. It's funny too, it's like literally like a five second cutscene. It's like not even long, but it's like five seconds is too much to wait, man. Shine get. All right, right here, I'm guessing he's not gonna use them. So you can actually, if you have perfect movement, you can actually choose to skip these. There's like three uh, hitboxes around this stage you have to hit uh, to make sure you didn't cheat. One of the checkboxes right there, which is why he goes to the right. And then one is over here, like right by this turn. And then the next one is just the ending. As long as you hit all three of these checks, uh, it counts as a valid race. So with perfect movement, you can go without going through the water. But most humans would do that very slowly, obviously. Most people are not getting 15 seconds. Right here, uh, we're doing a skip, by the way, to not go around. So normally you'd have to go to the top and jump down. But you can grab the bar from underneath uh, and basically just climb up and skip the whole star. Um, it is possible to do as a human as well. We do do it in RTA runs. However, uh, obviously we do it quite a bit slower than that. All right, Chad, we're coming into one of the longer secret stages. So get your cat champs ready. That is a nice tower climb. All right, here we go. He's just like barely landing on the edge to get more momentum. <laughs> he starts to slide and then do a spin attack to maintain that momentum to jump. <laughs> Across all of it. It's supposed to be a long stage, right? It's supposed to be. I guess not everyone is as slow as we are. I'm guessing we're gonna get some blue coins throughout these red coins here. Since you have to go around her anyways. Yeah. Wait, are we actually at 84 blue coins already? There's no way. We haven't we have we haven't even gotten to all the stages yet. Alright, time for another Shadow Mario stage, Chad. This gun is gonna be really hard. Oh boy. What a flex! He just casually clipped through that bar for no reason because he had to wait. Instead of just standing there and waiting, he was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go up and clip through the ground. We have to wait anyways for four seconds. All right, chat. This is a uh, very difficult secret, and he cannot just jump through it because it's like based upon height. There is no way this guy can beat it too fast. What is this? What? What? <laughs> All right. Well, okay. The secret. We do have to follow some cycles here. All right. Bro, stop. You're you're actually making me feel nervous. Stop. Please stop. I legitimately don't feel good. Please stop. This is stressing me out. Please just stop. Oh, 
I feel stressed having just watched that. Hey, stop that! Not cool. Alright, surely getting this Yoshi egg is going to be more difficult though, right? He sprayed the banana with water to perfectly... How did he get in that pipe? What is that? He's not even going into the pipe. He's on the side. This just feels like cheating. I guess walls and everything is just a suggestion at this point. Alright, surely this is gonna take some time though, chat, right? Surely this will take some time. This is the Manta fight. Anyone who's played this game will know the Manta fight is not only slow, but also we are limited to water. Surely this will take a while. How is that enough water? That's not enough water. Can I just mention, he was too fast. He had to purposely slow himself down to kill the last Manta so he could pick up that blue coin. He was too fast. How are you too fast on the Manta stage? I agree with this frog saying, huh? That is how I feel. Did I say frog? Sorry, I mean turtle. <laughs> I, sorry, I blinked. Sorry, I had to blink. Sorry. Okay, my bad. What? How did he... How did he... Cla huh? But, but how? What? How? Let's just go with this slower just to see what he's doing. Okay, I need I need to evaluate this. Okay. We're just going to do this in slow motion because this is basically human speed. Can we all agree? By doing a fourth of the speed, we're basically doing human speed. Okay. Okay. So, he does a spin attack. A spin jump, sorry. A second spin jump. Enter first person camera to angle it. So again, they get a grab. Instantly cancel it because I'm guessing he's in between two blocks. He does a jump dive. There's a rollout. Cancels that by touching the side of that sand block. Does another spin jump. Lands and falls off to do a second jump. And then he lands here and gets on this spinny block. He somehow doesn't fall down. Clips through the block. Jumps here. Lands here. And then spins on the side, maintains his momentum to make it all the way here. How? All right. Cool. I guess on to the next shine. This is a skip I actually know how to do. This is a skip right here. How did the banana get up there? Okay, so that is a banana clip, but wait. How did the banana... How does he even get it up? Okay, anyways, so you bring the banana up, and then you go up to the ledge. And if you throw it at the perfect time and you go against that wall, the banana will push you through the wall and clip you through. He hit the banana multiple times in midair with water. Of course. Why did I not think about this? This is gonna sound like a dumb complaint. I actually find this to be too fast to keep up with. Like, no meme, not trying to like do it for shock reasons. I'm trying to explain and commentate and like say what's going on, but it's just too fast. Like, it's actually too fast. Right there, he got a blue coin and he got into the stage early by going above. What did he just land on there? There was air! 
Like, look at that. What did he even jump on? That's air. There's nothing there. What's he jumping on? Who knows? Can you turn the camera around so we can see where you're going, sir? This is stressing me out. Okay. Alright. Here, I'm guessing we're gonna cancel it. So, this, you can actually technically go for, like, a faster strat. So, normally, you can only get fruit every second try. Now, you can theoretically cancel this early and still get fruit. So if you get super lucky because it's just like random tiles, it's a 1 in 64 chance to get fruit. So you can see that he's going for this 1 in 64 chance over and over again. Obviously get to his task. So he's just like not even going for any attacks. He's just immediately going into center to cancel it. And then immediately just gets fruit. And he's also using water to move the fruit instead of doing it himself. All right, time for Shadow Mario. I'm sure it's going to be, once again, a really hard fight for him. Yep. Are we getting red, blue coins, sorry, during this? Of course we are. 120 shines is around three hours for a human, for context. We'll see how fast he does it. There are human theory tasks for Breath of the Wild, but there's no tasking tools for uh, Wii U. So unfortunately, you cannot make a full-out task. That is... that is just... What? He's fighting him from here? That is so clever, because he has to throw them shorter, so it's slightly faster. Oh my god. That is so cool. Not only the movement to get up there, but also is doing that. So, for this second shine in Noki Bay, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go to the very top of the mountain and, and re-fight basically the squid once again that we've already fought twice. However, we're going to do a skip instead. So, we're going to go to the very, very, very top and we're going to basically use the trampoline to push ourselves out of bounds. And by pushing ourselves out of bounds, we can then just jump into the cave and skip basically the entire squid fight. So that actually is a boss skip. It might not look like it, but it's a really cool one. Okay, so this is the Eel Star. This is the fourth mission in Noki Bay. So you're supposed to basically just enter that water stream uh, to go to the Eel. We're gonna somehow clip out of bounds right there. Get teleported to the bottom. Why is there water down here? Oh, to faster get that blue coin! Because otherwise he would have to slowly sink to the bottom. So he clips out of bounds, clips to the bottom of the ocean so he can instantly get that blue coin. And then he just spin jumps up to the loading zone for the eel. Is he spraying upwards because it pushes Mario down? Do you think this is not just like for the meme? I think that's what he's doing. I think he probably saves a few frames. Dude, he sounds like a sprinkler. Alright. Don't forget to brush your teeth, Chad. Right here, he's gonna do a really cool trick. So normally, when you're cleaning the teeth, by the way, he, like, basically, he goes back into the ground because he gets mad. So he purposely is standing really far down in his mouth. So he's cleaning a tooth, and then he goes into the trigger to activate the kind of sucking animation when he tries to eat you, so that he doesn't go back into the ground. Then he did a cool little mini skip right there. So he took damage on the tooth at the exact same time that he cleaned the last tooth. Because if Mario is in a damage animation when the last tooth is cleaned off, the cutscene doesn't play, so you actually have control over Mario during the cutscene. It lets him basically stand, uh, stay on the ground so that when the shine spawns, he can immediately pick it up instead of having to go through a cutscene. Piantissimo! You think we're getting any blue coins again, Chad? Wait, he forgot the pole. Sir, where are we going? We're in a race! Bro. Bro. Get the flag! <laughs> I feel disrespected. Oh, 3333. Three, three, three. What a flex, dude.
This is the worst stage in the game. Speedrunners call this Noki 666 because A, it's called, it's literally Noki 6. Second of all, it is the most punishing and most difficult secret in the game. All right. Okay, let's just clip through the shell. Yeah, of course. All right, let's see how task, the task does this, shall we? Here we go. Yeah, you land on the spike. Yep, yep. Bro, stop doing that to me. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> it's so fast. I need my editor to highlight this message because it's so true. That took me an hour, question mark, question mark, question mark. Trust me, bro, we feel you. All right, everyone right now feels you on this one. Okay. All right, we're coming up on the final part right now, Chad. Because like I said earlier, like someone mentioned in the chat, the goal is to get to the end, I should say as fast as possible at least, into basically like Monka TOS Mountain. And the reason for that is basically, apparently, I guess like cutscene just becomes faster. So. Bro. Bro. Yeah, who needs the boat for the blue coins? How are we not dead? And he gets the last blue coin as he's doing the animation to exit the mission. And there we go. No boat necessary. Now for cleaning up. And yeah, someone did correct me in the chat. Basically, you get two things by entering uh, TOS Mountain early. You get one, apparently, on like all the nozzles, and two, all of the kind of like event cutscenes are removed from the game. So that's why they go there as quickly as they can. That is the fastest out of bounds fruit clip setup I have ever seen. Just doesn't even grab the fruit, just uses the nozzle to set it up. How did he even get the banana up there? I know it, the answer, it's spraying with flood and the water is making it fly, but dude. Oh shit, I love this nozzle. He launched the fruit that far? How does he even get that from here to there? Without landing in the water. And he just uses it to clip through the pipe, of course. How? How? How is he doing that? How is he just spamming it in place without moving forward? I believe the task is repeatedly pressing the R button frame perfectly to pace the turbo nozzle. I'll just take your word for it. I do not know that. Is anyone else feeling worse watching this? Like, I feel impressed, but at the same time, I just feel disrespected and worse. Like, I feel like I'm terrible at Mario now. That is so cool. 
He shot it as he was going upward so that he doesn't have to shoot it and then go up. He did it on his way traveling up to just save a few frames. Dude! I feel like at, he's so fast, we're spending more time in loading zones and shine animations than we are playing the game right now. Have you noticed that, Chad? Oh my god, I hate this stage. I want to see how they do this. I, I despise this stage. It looks like it should be fun, but no. There's like invisible forces that pull you around. Yep, this is definitely how fast- I hated the fruit stuff, dude. I hated the fruit stuff. The fruit stuff was so annoying to me, getting these around. What, are they all gonna be perfectly right in front of the basket now too or something? Yeah, of course they are. Yeah, of course. Look at this. It's like 0.2 seconds from talking to getting it because they were on the way forward because he sprayed them. Yeah. Hey, I can do this one. I can do this one though. This strat I can do. Press one if you can do this strat. I can do exactly that. That is one of the first things I've seen him do that I could do. Finally. Everyone is posting a two. I feel sad. You don't think you could do a ground pounds, chat? What am I watching? Alright, I can do 100 coins. 100 coins plus red. This I can do, 100%. How did we just change direction so fast? How? Hey, he got 99 coins. So bad. He missed the coin, Chad. Definitely not on purpose. This task is so bad. I can make a better task. Not even 100 coins, dude. So bad. Look, you have to do the backup right here. It's called Y storage. If you press Y just before you start turboing, it stores that camera angle. And then it applies that as soon as you stop. Huh. That makes sense. Five head. Thanks for sharing. Dude, come on. I feel like this is going to make me mad watching this. You do not understand how much I hate red coins in this stage. What? What am I watching? What? Excuse me, that's not how that turbo boost is supposed to work. It does up. How is he doing forward with it? I'm sorry, I gotta rewind. Okay, so I'm guessing what he's doing. My guess right here, right? If I'm watching it here. He, he does a dive rollout, right? So he does a dive rollout, and I'm guessing on a specific frame as he's doing the rollout, this activates when Mario is angled, right? You can see he's kind of slightly angled right there. That's when it activates, bam. And it's causing him to go forward instead of upwards. But, like... Bro. We're going back to the first shine. I'm, I don't want to call this task guy out, but I would have done this shine faster than an hour and a half, so... Bees! No... He just obliterated the entire freaking population in a split second.
Yep. 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 That's how I do it. <laughs> That's sure how I do it. Wait, why are we coming back in? What other stuff do we have? I'm confused. Oh, there's a second secret we haven't done red coins for. I'm stupid. I was about to say. Excuse me, what? He clips out of bounds. He, he, what? I'm sorry, what? I gotta... So he... I'm sorry. He, he clips out of bounds. And then dashes to not land on the ground. Falls underneath the, the river. Lands and runs to quicker, I guess, move here. And then jumps back in. What even is a wall? Like, can someone define to me what a wall is? Can I get a legal definition of a wall? I swear to God, if it does not say suggestion in there, I'm I'm going to sue. What? What just happened? What? I blinked. Well, it seems like he did a rocket storage. And then he just did a bunch of normal rocket launches. And somehow it just worked. You sound so depressed, Linkus. I just feel so slow watching this. I just feel so slow. Dude, he climbs this mountain so freaking fast. Turbo nozzle, of course. I hated the blue coins in Noki. Bro. <laughs> He's getting them so fast. Is he turbo nozzling through these tunnels? How is he gonna even get up there quickly? It's so far. What? Okay, hold on. Frame by frame. Okay, he's sliding here. He, he jumps up on this mushroom, and then Mario disappears. He goes into the mushroom. You can see the shadow of Mario right there. And then the camera freaks out, goes to the top of the stage, and he spawns the shine. Yahoo! He's using the fluffs. To teleport? What? Okay, chat, don't blink. All right, everybody stare. Everybody stare. Okay, we don't blink this time. Okay. How is he doing those teleports? Like, for example, right here. If I go frame by frame, there's nothing he's grabbing. It's not like he's grabbing one of them. Like, look. There's nothing that he's even grabbing. He's grabbing the air to teleport. I swear, I didn't blink once, and I still don't understand all of those teleports. It actually feels like cheating. I know it's not, and I know that he's grabbing some stupid-ass invisible hitboxes to teleport across the map, but it feels like cheating. How? Bro had an elytra. Dude, wait, what? Wait, when do we fight the ender dragon? I blinked. Damn it! Is that gonna land on the Yoshi? 
Flip out of bounds. Shoot the fruit across the stage, of course. That That's literally like a BLJ. It's like a backwards slide. Slide off backwards to get more speed. Dude, it, the that bee mashing to get those bees. I swear it's so fast. We're doing Chucksters! I'm a Chuckster. Dude. Dude. Chucksters just became a suggestion. Not even mandatory. I cannot wait to see how he does Pinna Park 8. I swear, that is the worst mission. It's one of the few missions that I failed when I did this game casually. And I'm not so bad. I'm telling you, it's a hard stage. There's like 30 balloons and you have to do it in 3 minutes. It's tough, man. It's actually tough. BLJ! Literally BLJ. Backwards long jumps, dude. Yeah. How did he get so many coins to spawn so quickly? How is he finding all of these coins? This was not the experience I had when I played this game. I'm telling you. You can spray the pin of beach to randomly get a coin. So perfect RNG equals rich. Hey, that sounds like real life. That sounds like when I bought a ticket for the, the Powerball when it was $2 billion. I didn't win. But if I would have gotten lucky, I would have been rich. It was only a 1 in 300 million. I don't know why I didn't get the right numbers, to be honest. All right. I hate this stage so much. This is one of the worst stages in the game, I'm telling you. Even as, like, this is actually hard to beat in three minutes. He's spraying and picking up through his water the rock. We didn't even make it past the first hill. Okay, I'm sorry. Replay. What? Okay, so I understand how he's getting the rocket. He's spraying his nozzle because if a water touches a rocket, you get the rocket. Which is how he's able to pick these back up. But how is he... But he didn't even break all the balloons. How... I saw the 20 out of 20, but I just disagree. Yeah, maybe he broke the same balloons multiple times or something. It's got to be something. <laughs> I like that bonk. I love that bonk because you have to wait for the portal to activate. I love that bonk. Okay, we're entering this stage. Are we... Are we doing 100 coins? What? I'm sorry, what? God damn it, I keep remembering not to blink. Uh, how is he teleporting like that? What is... Okay, so he, he... This block must have a lot of momentum. So he breaks this block. And then he... He starts a side flip. The block respawns. It teleports him and shoves him over here. He hovers out of bounds and sprays this secret wall to get the shine? Dude, ain't no way! I love the Sandcastle stage, Chad. The stage is awesome. Just how fast he sprays that. Wait, he got a blue coin during that? I'm sorry, how did that result in a blue coin? I'm just gonna show you frame by frame, okay? This is the last frame we see of Mario.
And then this is the next frame we see of Mario. He has a blue coin. The blue Chuckster is down. And the red Chuckster is down. And we are over here. Was he playing during the cutscene through a glitch or something? Okay, everybody. Shh. Okay, listen. Maybe he was playing blind. Hold on, everybody. It must be some glitch to have control over Mario during the cutscene. You can hear how he's actually jumping and getting stuff there. Okay. How? I've never seen that before. Alright, I've already had my mind blown so many times. There's nothing he can do at this point to blow my mind more. This is probably is pretty simple. Yeah, obviously very simple, clean movement. Yeah, as you can see, nothing special here. I see what he did there. Okay, so I need to explain something for anyone who doesn't know. This actually I can't explain. So do you see how he broke this sand block here? You see how he he purposely landed here to make the sand block go away? Okay, so he makes that sand block start to go away and then he gets these other coins. And then you can see the, here that the sand block is gone. Now, for some reason, I don't know quite why this happens, but if you do a ground pound above a sand block and you initiate the ground pound at the exact same time that the sand block comes back it teleports you upwards okay so what he does here is he slides over this block and it's probably just about to respawn that's probably how the task did it and then he does a ground pound right here bam right now he initiates a ground pound right as that sand block spawns back in you can actually see this is the frame it spawns back in. You can see it. So he initiates a ground pound at the exact same time that the sandlot comes back. It teleports him upwards, which lets him have faster movement to get this coin. Finally, something I know. Piantissimo! All right, let's see how many blue coins we get here. Normally, I'd go for the zero approach. Get them over in that tree! And that was two and one! I swear, wasn't that two and one? He got two. He, he lined up the birds so perfectly, he was able to spawn the coins inside of each other. And he still beat him! I wonder how this task guy is going to do Sandbird. Okay, there's no way he can actually do something crazy on Sandbird. Sandbird is like literally an auto scroll. There's nothing you can do to speed up Sandbird. Yep, another easy clap teleport, of course. Why not? However, right, he's going to teleport across the stage to that block. How did that even knock him over? They're probably using RNG manipulation here, because here it can be really unlucky and have them spread out so you can't quickly get them in a ground pound. This is one of the worst stages when you were doing, like, before a lot of beach skip was found. Wait, he's somehow getting it down without ground pounding? What? How is he having them fall off without a ground pound? No, when you spray, when they get to an edge, they're supposed to go on one leg, and you and you have to knock them down with a ground pound. Maybe they were just so scared of this task guy that they chose to walk off. I believe in that one. Why are we going over here? Are we doing another teleport? Oh, oh, 100 coins? Oh, yep.
dude. How is he climbing these ropes? How did he get that much momentum that quickly? Did he just... What did he just even ground pound? The water? He's in the sky! Are we under the water now too? I don't even know what to say. How is he doing this underwater? It has to be that he's mashing the button every frame or something. So it's like doing the effect, but not like really doing it. You know what I mean? Like he's using it, but he's like kind of not. Did we just... Did he just deactivate the water? Does the water just not exist anymore? All right, cool. All right, time for Sandbird. Yep, Waltz are just suggestions, of course. Just clip right through. All right! Bro didn't even need a bird to fly, true. How fast do you think he's gonna go through the hotel, Chad? Wait, we're going back to the second shine? Why? That was, what, 20 seconds for red coins? <laughs> well, when I reacted to the task for Twilight Princess, I could explain a lot of the glitches. This just feels like... O-Face. Like, I'm... I don't have any much to say. I feel like I blink, I talk, I miss it. That's how fast this is. Why are we going into the casino? Oh, red coins again. I'm so dumb, of course. Once again, what is he jumping on in midair there? How is he doing it? Shine get. I don't even remember what the eighth shine is for this stage. Red coins in the hotel. Five minute timer. Are they hidden or something? I'm sorry, what? He tries to open a door, and the door goes, actually, no, you can't open it. He, I guess, enters at the same time as he tries to open a door, first-person camera, to angle him sideways. So Mario does go, oh, no, actually, I can't go through that. Never mind. He can. It wasn't enough that walls were suggestions. Now doors are, too. I stand corrected. Everything is a suggestion. Nothing is but a suggestion. Nothing is real. Dude. Well, I guess this is how he gets all the blue coins. And I guess 100 coins. I can't even- I'm, I, I would love to explain what's going on, chat. I'm literally not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try and explain what's going on. This is just like... There's nothing to explain. There, there's actually there's nothing to explain. What you're seeing is what you get. Oh, yeah. Clip out of bounds to get that blue coin.
Yep, jump through the floor. Jump through the floor. Yep, of course. Yep. All right. Yep. That's all I have to say. Yep. Yeah, let's just use Yoshi to get up here faster. Why not? Yep. Yeah, just, 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 just fall through the floor. Why not? Who needs, who needs collision? What? Of course. Yep. Makes sense. Yep. That one I can't explain. That one I just don't know how to say. He, he that, that I have no idea. Oh no, not another hundred coins. All right, chat. I'm just gonna let him take. I'm just gonna let this task guy take it away. I, I, I've given up on explaining a hundred coins. How did that even kill him? Yeah, clip through the ground, of course. I feel like I'm not playing the same game when I play Mario 64, you know? Or sorry, Mario Sunshine, you know what I mean, Chad? I feel like I'm playing a completely separate game compared to this task guy. This just does not look right. Okay, can we just appreciate this Pianta who is super freaking panicked and just runs straight through Mario in the end? <laughs> Dude, that is how I feel when I'm watching this. If I were to be able to make a cameo in this task, that is literally what I would do. I'd be like, ah! Also, 240 blue coins. I think that's it. I think that's it. Isn't it? No, wait, one more star. One more shine, I think. Because we're at 95, right? So I think we're missing one more. That's it. 119. What? Yeah, why not just clip through the lava and just slide underneath it? Okay, I have seen rocket, like, rocket storage before, but never that. What was that? He lands on his slope and just gets, like, a bazillion speed. Dude, that launch. He's getting a launch off of the falling pieces. How? Oh, time. That's it. GG, my timer at the top is a little bit wrong because I paused a bunch and went back. The actual final time is 2 hours, 23 minutes, and 29 seconds, which beats the current world record by about 30 minutes exactly. This task guy completed the run over 30, around 30 minutes faster than the fastest human. Now, just in case it wasn't obvious for uh, anyone who's watching this on YouTube, just to be clear in case you somehow skipped through the video and missed this, Tass is not actually a guy. Uh, Tass stands for Tool Assisted Speedrun. It was done by a human, but it was obviously done with tools to create what is known as a perfect speedrun. Just to allow that clear that up so you're too confused. But with that being said, unfortunately, that is going to be the end of this video. But if you want to watch more awesome content like this, you definitely be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I also posted a link in the description of this video to the actual guy who made this task. So definitely check out his channel as well. Uh, if you want to see another reaction of a task, you can click on the screen right now for a Twilight Princess task I recently reacted to. And if you want to watch another randomizer video, there's also on the screen right now. But anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate that. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Later, everybody. Bye-bye.